Mateo was able to take it over uh, Hayes, dropping out at fifth place. Farrow over Marval. Mar mm -hmm. And we got our top four. Mateo Farrow, winner of this will play Rivers. Winner of that will play Jackal. The path is set. It's just a matter of who is it going to be the one to challenge for the crown. Yeah, and these Ooh. are people who I feel like they always play a lot being right. at center stage. Okay. Seeing Mateo just taking constantly. Oh, and yeah. Pharaoh repping that center stage tag as well. But Pharaoh off to a pretty good start. Just trying to juggle Palutena all around. Look at that. 80% off these up air strings. So much damage instantaneously. And I mean, it's they've truly played quite a bit. Not only at center stage, but uh, literally here tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, Pharaoh was the one that put Mateo here into losers in 2-0 fashion, might I add trying to get a repeat performance, but it was close and a whole lot closer than the 2-0 uh, makes it sound for sure. Let's see, are we going to seal the deal here or are we going to get a revenge set? Mateo sinking very deep for that back here. Wasn't able, unfortunately, to get it. Pharaoh does punish with the Nair, trying to get a follow-up as well. There we go. Nair trying to set up once again and Oos tries to take the ledge from Mateo, but Mateo not giving the stock up, playing pretty damn good. He broke the the, the, the the double jump armor as well, but didn't, was not able to capitalize in time. Letting the jump come out here. And Mateo is playing on the ground so fluidly, finding pop-ups, finding grabs, and taking out that first stock from Pharaoh. And this is patience. Expecting the double jump instead, Pharaoh A-Lance trying to play aggro in order to try and find this stock. And you see the up tilts coming mm -hmm. out. Any one of them means an up air. Yeah, I like what, what Pharaoh's just doing to Mateo right now, just trying to just inch up slowly, trying to just provoke an option from Sealed, because we know Palutan has a lot of really good out of shield options. But so far, Mateo is just racking up that damage, trying to do a good job. Unfortunately, we might be out of that percent window, but we do catch the teleport with the up air. All right. Yeah, seeing that from a mile away, setting up for the angle. That means easy peasy repositioning there in order to play around the platform. And hey, that's that's something long forgone in a Ultimate's metagame. Early on, it was all about sharking under platforms, trying to find ways to dominate them. Instead, meta shifted a little bit, but you still have those fundamentals from playing this game for a long time, like both Pharaoh and Mateo have been for the entirety of this game's lifespan. Oh. I like that little sneaky grab. We're going to be trapping with the Nair, try to rack up as much damage as we can. Teo just slowly just trying to inch towards that center stage there. But yep, that dash attack is going to put him on the mark, though. We are on the right track. The amount of damage that hey. both Pharaoh and Yoshi can just put on in the blink of an eye. Like, all right, I'm going to just like do my normal combo, and you're going to take 60, and then, you know, here we go. Going for the Nair extension there instead of more up airs. Nice little shift to DI from Mateo, uh, DIing in and out in such a vertical spectrum. But you need this stock here on this uh, ledge trap if you're going to try to find your way back into it. But instead, Pharaoh ekes on by and we're back in center here, Snivy. Yep, Mateo just trying to switch things up just a little bit. Getting a little aggressive with the teleports. Not able to make a whole lot out of it. Oh no. That was almost a shield break. Yeah, that's the... the the platform setup with egg roll specifically by never holding the stick all the way in and like just making it ever so slight as the back throw closes out the stock. You can let egg roll sit on ledge with the hitbox still active. And if your opponent's shielding there, they get shield broken. Unfortunately, Farrow did it slightly incorrectly, but it's ever so terrifying that you know, she has setups like that. Yeah, it is pretty terrifying. But you know, Palutena is just going to respond back with a classic neutral air train just going on. Ooh, but we do catch the teleport yet again. Yeah, that's what? Two of the three stocks? Just like yep. I'm, two I'm for two. gambling. Well, I'm not even gambling because the risk reward is so heavily in your favor. Either you teleport into this up tilt and I win or you stay in the corner. Both of these are fine. <laughs> yeah, because it's like it's either you take that position where Mateo ended up landing. Pharaoh did call it out, right? Or you kind of just get, like, infinitely ledge trapped by Yoshi because, again, just like Wolf, um, Fox, Yoshi has in forward, or uh, neutral air, which is really good and really active at just catching, like, neutral get-ups in those options. Just on reaction, frame three, get put it right out on a neutral get-up, on a ledge jump, something, or any sort of aggressive option as well. But Mateo had the bones, had the bones of a winning strategy here, mm -hmm. Snivy, in the early part of game number one. Just kind of let it fall by the wayside and 
you give in to that inner that inner demon that always wants you to go for these like really crazy mix-ups or, or in order to try and like skip steps and get back to neutral really quickly. Sometimes you just need to take the go to ledge, take the neutral get up. If your opponent's gonna try and hard oh. cover center, then hey, like just take take it slow in disadvantage, but in advantage, Mateo, knowing how to push for sure for 106, almost with a completed edge guard as well, but He'll get another chance at it here, Snivy. Yeah, I mean, I know it's not Halloween yet, but he's taking those bones, making one hell of a skeleton, trying to put on a spooky, scary show. Yep, that 123 racked up so fast on Pharaoh there. What month Ooh. are you in? <laughs> <laughs> how he, how he's got, bro? <laughs> like, the Halloween throwback? Wait, what? <laughs> We're going back in time. <laughs> Oh, oh. they're supposed to play and close out stock. That's why there. we're going back in time. It's Paul <laughs> <laughs> True. We're in 2019. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Nair one. Trying to find Rar Nair to get back to the platform, but getting the full hop version so he couldn't tr quite find the drift there. Again, Mateo trying to skip steps, but luckily he's only finding the soft hit of Nair and Pharaoh. Has not punished him too hard hey. for it this game, but he's going out there to finish with that Nair. All-purpose button, doing it yet again. Oh, sails ahead for Pharaoh here, just taking that stock from the neutral here. But, oh, auto Oracle not quite stopping the run out, but we are getting an interesting series of trades. Pharaoh's definitely looking to pick up from an up tilt to link it to the up air. But Mateo here swinging back with some very nice retaliation, giving a little bit of that space, trying to invite Pharaoh to come on. Just maybe looking to connect a forward or an up air. But again, it is Pharaoh who's going to be winning out these interactions, just getting these juggle situations constantly. Yeah, just a triple up air, true combo. Look at how much damage it did. If not for Mateo having some up air chases of his own. Oh, not quite. Yeah, we're playing with a lot more specials now between the auto rifle and now just adding in that explosive flame. I like it, though, because you're just sticking out hitboxes in midair. Like, you know, if you're letting Yoshi jump all oh. over you, that's never quite the place you want to be. Instead, we're throwing out just so much in center, always trying to keep uh, Pharaoh off of his Eight. guard. Oh, you pressed buttons out of disadvantage, trying to get uh, out of tumble and then play the mix-up. But no, Pharaoh's playing up tempo to try and take that stock, getting right back into this game as we are even 0-0. Potentially the last stock of the tournament for Mateo. Farrow's got one game to play with, but he would much rather go right on to Rivers ASAP. Now, I was about to say, Mateo was doing a good job at evading just a lot of these up tilt strings, but here we go. Got a really good starter. Just takes a trade, though. Unfortunately, just breaks the combo. Yo, she's the left. Ooh. Hey, yo, hold up. Okay, we are going to make it back because we are Paul Tana. We got that good ass up B. Just barely, though. Finding a. A potential stock, oh! and you find it there. Forward air, acknowledging and recognizing as Pharaoh is one to do the lab rat that he is, the lab dinosaur that he is, to see, hey, you're going to tech on this platform. We're at those percentages, so all I need to do is use my crazy airspeed, get on this platform, and guess right, or react right, because you have enough time on a tech roll out. There now, Pharaoh was looking Pharaoh mad was comfy on that last stock. He's like, "Oh, sick! I got this set up on platform. I know he's gonna roll. I, I know he's gonna roll. He's got it right there." Little reads like that go such a long way, and that's like that extra bit of X factor. Something I've been talking about all night, and honestly, I mean, I've been talking about for so many mm -hmm. like commentary blocks that I'm on. Like X factor of a character matters so much in the current metagame in across fighting games in general having that ability just to say hey if i make this one call out if i find this one setup then i take a stock that's i i win the game effectively and despite characters that are more fundamentally solid and more well-rounded mm -hmm. like we've seen wolf and palatine and still great great characters but less less so uh palatina than wolf but especially in the case of Yoshi, like just able to pour on damage spontaneously. And for players like Pharaoh that are willing to learn all of those tricks and tools of the trade to be as explosive as he is, it makes a huge, huge difference sitting down with stick in hand mm -hmm. playing the game. 